Hi, so this week um, is about autumn and winter skin savers. Um, so the types of products that, to be honest, you don't really read about in magazines because they're not very sexy, exciting or pretty, um, but they're actually really effective and necessary for lots of people when the weather changes and our skin gets very dry, can get chapped and so on. I find my skin is particularly susceptible to this sort of thing as the weather changes. So not necessarily when it's at its coldest, but when it switches, which it recently has. So that's why I wanted to do the column. The other reason I wanted to write this column is because I made a discovery that I'm so obsessed with that I want to tell you all about it. And I'm sure it's not something you'd read about elsewhere because it's actually quite a boring and unsexy subject. Cold sores. Um, if you don't suffer from cold sores, then I'm thrilled for you. They're awful. But if you do suffer from cold sores, um, you have nothing but my sympathy. They're dreadful things. They um, make you so miserable. Um, they can make you feel fluey and ill. They're painful, they're uncomfortable, they're unsightly, they're embarrassing, they're dreadful things. And um, I'm unlucky in that I do get cold sores, but I'm also really lucky in that I get them very infrequently, maybe once or twice a year. And I know some people are just dogged by them constantly, and it must be a very grim thing indeed. So I really wanted to share my discovery with you because I feel so strongly that you need it. So um, a few months ago, I had a cold sore that was so bad, I had to cancel a day of meetings. It was so painful, so huge, I felt absolutely dreadful. And I had an incredibly important meeting a couple of days later, and um, I just had to do something to get rid of it. Um, some research directed me to the Boots Cold Sore machine. And it's expensive, it's £35, but I promise it's the best 35 quid you'll ever spend if you're a cold sore sufferer. And if you know someone and love someone who's a cold sore sufferer, please just buy them one. It's life changing. So it's this machine. It looks quite crap, to be honest. It looks kind of a bit tatty and a bit unsexy, but it's so great. And all you do with it is you put it onto the cold sore and the surrounding area, you press the button and you leave it there for four minutes, completely painless. You almost feel like it's not working because you can't feel anything, you can't hear anything. At the end of the four minutes, it beeps and you remove it. You do that every couple of hours. Um, so I did that. And within an hour, all the swelling had gone. And literally, my lip was sort of really swollen and bursting out. It was horrible. All the swelling went down. I continued with the treatment. And within a few hours, um, the cold sore started to dry up. And it had completely dried up by the end of day one. And it had gone by the end of day three. Um, I've never known this before. Generally, mine last for 10 to 14 days. Um, they're really, really grim. And this was nothing short of miraculous in my eyes. Um, so much better than all the other treatments I've tried, the kind of patches, the creams and so on. It, it's amazing. Please just go and get one. Um, for those of you who don't suffer from cold sores, oh, I should just say, sorry, before I go on, that I have been maintaining since it's gone cold. I've been putting um, this on my face about twice a week around the area where I normally get cold sores, which is on my lip, and I just find that's really useful and I haven't had one since, it's been months. Um, if you don't suffer from cold sores, but your skin is suffering because of the weather change, um, you really need to now ramp it up to something more um, emollient, um, containing kind of richer, stronger moisturizers than before. A great thing to do is oil, which I've talked about lots before, so I won't go into too much depth, but an oil at night can work wonders um, and really help your skin get back to its best with all the kind of central heating and the weather changes and so on. Your scalp can get extremely dry in the winter. Mine definitely does. I try to wear a hat as much as I can when I'm outside, but all that chopping and changing from inside to outside, outside to inside, um, your skin can get very dry. This is a new shampoo and a new leave-on treatment from Userin, one of my favourite brands. Again, not the prettiest thing in the world, um, but it's one of the only um, treatments I've tried that really moisturises my scalp without making my hair lank. Dry scalp is not the same thing as dandruff, by the way. Um, you can have a very oily scalp and dandruff. This is specifically for dry scalps, which is my problem. Um, another really great new product is La Roche-Posay, another favourite brand of mine. Um, they've got this new product called Balm B5 and it's for all the family. You can put it on babies, children, men and so on. And it's for everything you can put it on. If you have a burn, if you have a graze, if you have chapping, if you've just had a tattoo and you're helping it to heal, anything where your skin is inflamed or irritated, just pop this on. It's really not that expensive given how much you have and it works wonders. It just really gets your skin back to its best.
Um, it's just a very pampering, um, rich lotion. If you um, don't have sort of medically bad um, dry skin and you just want to ramp up your moisturiser, there are a couple of new ones out which I really rate. This one by Origins is Make a Difference Plus. Um, it's like their old Make a Difference moisturiser, but it's even richer, it has more um, humectants in it to, to make water cling to the skin. Really, really nice product. Then Nivea have a whole new range out called Rescue and Care, which is um, purely for inflamed, chapped winter skin. Marvellous. I, I really rate Nivea as a brand. Um, also, Living Proof, really great hair care brand that's sold in kind of boutique places, has targeted repair cream. Nothing is going to repair your split damaged hair except for a haircut but this is a really great temporary um, measure it just kind of glues the ends back together makes your hair much more manageable and less prone to static really really like this product um, and finally even if your face isn't suffering so much i'm sure that your body um, will get dry and mine is horrific in the winter and i need a very 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 rich body lotion um, my favorite is neutrogena deep moisturizer i've been using it forever but this is Marvellous. This is a Venn cold cream body lotion. It's very dry, very sensitive skin. It smells amazing. It smells like baby's neck. It's like the best smell ever. But it's really, really rich. And if you just slather that on like butter before bed, you'll find that your skin is much softer in the morning, even after your shower. Um, though if you have very dry skin, I would always recommend following with a rich body lotion after your shower. Um, just building in an extra five minutes into your morning routine to really get that moisture in before you get dressed and go out in the cold. Finally, lip balm. Can't live without lip balm in the winter. Um, I've always got about four in my bag. Um, my favourite one, um, Lana Lips. Um, I use loads and loads and loads. They've got lots of new formulas and a few tints out now, which I um, really recommend coming out for winter. Um, and just make sure you're reapplying that all the time. I'm personally in favour of lip balms that don't contain um, camphor because I find that drying. It's a common ingredient in lip balms. Um, but the richer, the better for me. And you can always just um, blot your lips before you put on your lipstick and you shouldn't have any problems. If your um, lips become very flaky and you need to get rid of those flakes, rather than just putting on loads of lip balm to glue them back down, just when you're hot cloth cleansing at night, take your flannel, put your finger over the flannel and just buff off the dry skin with the flannel. It's gentler than a toothbrush, which I know is the common um, advice, but use your flannel and then put on lots of lip balm to add that moisture back in. Um, any questions at all about how to save troublesome winter and autumn skin, um, do let me know in the comments section. I'll try and answer your questions. Thanks very much. Bye.